Welcome Virgo. This is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your April 2023 reading. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for Virgo for April 2023. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Same. Let's get some energy. We have chemistry. There's something strong. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I feel like this is someone who you are very attracted to, who's very attracted to you. There's a lot of chemistry here, right? Um, so definitely some kind of new relationship is blossoming. Wow, okay. Okay, let's get an angel card. Let's get some more energy for Virgo. Okay, we have clairvoyance. So you may be seeing visions. You may be really visioning how things should be. You may have some psychic ability at the moment, you know. Um, things may be coming clear about certain situations. Um, I'm helping, excuse me, we have Archangel Raziel. Uh, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Wow, okay. So this chemistry that's unfolding, this chemistry may start to turn out to be something that's very special. That's blossoming into something greater. Okay. Um, so this could very well be something that is able to blossom and grow into something that's beautiful here this new relationship that's coming through this this intense chemistry okay so wow we have breathe okay so the number 29 may be very significant for you it may be your age it may be your person's age it may be your birthday okay but i feel like there's a need for you to breathe to focus to meditate to just feel grounded during this month of April. Okay, so there may be times when you just need to take a moment. Take a moment by yourself and just focus. Okay, just feel realigned. You know, find that balance in your situation. Okay, so that is beautiful. Okay, let's get a message for love for Virgo. Let's see what's going on in Virgo's love life. In the month of April. I like you. See, what did I tell you? There's someone here who is in that first beginning stages, right? They're very attracted to you. They see things in you that others may not see. You know, this person likes you. They're hoping for a romance. There's a lot of flirting. Um, maybe they want to ask you out. But there's definitely someone who's interested. And I'm really feeling like this is that chemistry that's coming out. Okay? Um, I feel like this is something that's going to possibly lead to something very welcoming. We have the key, the heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. So I feel like this person, you may have the indication that this person is perfect. You know, they have that perfect chemistry with you. They may be very attractive. They may be very outgoing, very uh, driven. And I feel like, you know, this situation is starting to really intensify in the month of April. So if you haven't met this person yet, this person is here. You know, take notice of someone who's really flirting with you, who's really trying to get your attention. Okay, uh, Virgo, because I feel like, yeah, this person wants to get to know you better. They want to know your interests. They want to let you know, hey, I'm attracted to you. I would really like to get to know you better, you know, and I feel like once it starts, I feel like you're together, you know, you spend a lot of time together, you're constantly talking, constantly communicating, 
And I feel like it's really beautiful. This is beautiful energy for you, right? Okay, so let's see what's going on with the tarot. Let's see what's going on for Virgo, the month of April 2023. Messages, please. Give me a message. What's going on with Virgo? Okay, yeah, look at this. Someone's offering you their cup. There's a lot of communication. There's a lot of action being taken. Oh, balance. I'm loving this. High Priestess. Wow. We have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, okay, and the Ten of Cups. Woo! Your month of April is coming along, Virgo. And we have the sun. So there's a lot of happiness here. You're going to feel a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment in April, right? There's going to be a lot of giving, a lot of time spent with family or your loved ones. This is also surprising gifts that are given to you, right? And I feel like there's some kind of emotions that you're walking away from. There's something that you're releasing. It may be that past experiences that you're releasing that you no longer need to hold on to, okay? Because you have all this happiness here, all this fulfillment, you know? So if this is love coming in to make you happy, girl or guy, this is going to be beautiful, right? Okay, so in the month of April, we have someone who's offering you this huge opportunity for love. Um, this is new love coming in. This is love being accepted. There's a lot of communication here. I feel like someone is taking action. Someone is pursuing you. They may be texting you back and forth. You may be communicating. You know, I, I feel like there's, there's a lot going on. I feel like this is a very busy month for you. You're staying active. You're staying busy, right? And I feel like you're finding your balance. You're really finding your balance. There's someone who uh, wants to give you an opportunity, some kind of generosity. There's gifts here. There's equal give and take. You know, um, this may be you um, being generous to someone else. Because as you see, you know, he's giving three of his pinnacles to someone else, right? Um, so there may be someone that you are um, being very generous with. But I feel like you're using your intuition. I, I feel like that's where this clairvoyance is coming in, right? Because I feel like you're really using your intuition to fill out the situation. Um, you're really trusting yourself at this time. You're trusting the path that you're taking. You're trusting the people that you're putting yourself around. Because I feel like there's some people that you may be turning your back on that you know are not a good fit for you any longer. You may have grown out of certain relationships, right? Um, so I feel like, you know, you're finding your balance. You're finding your clear path. Okay, and you're trusting the way that you're leading. And I feel like, you know, with this Nine of Swords energy, I feel like there's some fears that you're overcoming. You're no longer holding on to some kind of doubt, some kind of feeling of... I'm getting... I'm getting confidence. You're letting go of that feeling that you are lacking confidence to do something. You're battling that that confidence demon, you know? Um, and I feel like you are really taking initiative. You're taking action. Um, you're, you have victory over your situation. And that's what's giving you this feeling. Now look, we had the sun on the bottom. And we also have the ten of cups. So... And, you know, this is happiness, but this is happy life, happy family, you know, being fulfilled, you know, having everything that you need, 
and I feel like there's there's a lot of happiness here. April April is going to be a very good month for you. You know, um, very interesting, Virgo. Let's get some clarifying cards. Let's see what else is going on. Give me a message for Virgo, please. Give me a message for Virgo. I'm also getting that there's something that you love to do. There's some kind of passion that you hold. Um, it may be a career. It may be something that you've been trying to do. And I feel like you're going to get communication on that. Something that you've been really waiting for. And I feel like it's going to put you in a better position. It's going to, you know, increase your ability to help others around you. Okay. Um, hmm. Give me more of a message for Virgo. The Six of Wands. Beautiful. The World card. And the Ten of Wands. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. So it's definitely something you've been waiting for. Um, it's finally coming into view for you. And I do also feel like it, it's giving you the ability to make plans, to really think things out, to think about the future. Um, you're thinking about ways of... moving forward okay this two of wands could also be you um having the invitation to travel okay um but i feel like you know your travel plans here i feel like they're still in the planning stage there's nothing definite at the moment okay so we have the six of wands the world card Woo. And the Ten of Wands. So I feel like you're truly being recognized. This could be a job or career. But I feel like you're being rewarded for the efforts that you put in. And I feel like you are moving to a bigger and better situation. So this could be some kind of increase. But I feel like this is an increase that is bringing a lot more priorities. It's bringing a lot more responsibility. Um... But I feel like you're able to carry the weight. You're able to do the task with ease. You see how he's not stumbling. He's he's like carrying these wands, but he's not stumbling. You know, um, there may be some priorities that kind of fall to the way, but I feel like you're able to carry the the task very well, right? Um, this I'm also getting with the six of wands. I feel like there's someone who is viewing you as being victorious this is a lot of success here this is someone who is viewing you as very successful very vibrant very energetic i feel like you're very driven right and i feel like you you're like going into this new cycle with ease okay um it's not going to be without its hurdles of course, there's always going to be obstacles and challenges to face. But I feel like something that you achieved is bringing you into this new beginning, this new cycle that's unfolding. Okay? And I feel like you're just flowing into it. You're just flowing into this new position, this new um, place in your life. Okay, this is coming to you with a lot of focus. You know, you're able to focus on the things that you're interested in. You're able to make plans to partnership, to collaborate with others very easily, you know, and you're finding your balance. This is something that's going to bring a lot of longevity, something that's going to bring increase of some kind, right? And bring you into this new journey. This new leap of faith that's going to be very clear on where your path is leading you. I feel like a lot of things are becoming clear at the moment. You're taking action. You're standing your ground. You are speaking your truth here in April. 
okay so that's beautiful energy you're planting seeds and you're watching them grow you're watching them take action and you know build as they go and of course there's that love here so there is love here but i feel like there are other things that you're focusing on before this love right i feel like this you know this may be someone that you work with someone that you work very well with maybe someone you're collaborating with okay but i feel like you're taking it slow you're not jumping into the situation even though there's so much chemistry there may be you know chemistry that your personalities mesh but i feel like there's also this sexual chemistry that you are very attracted to this person and this person is very attracted to you right but i feel like you're taking it slow you're not moving quickly into the situation you're trying to figure out where the situation is going and where it's going to be placed into your life okay so let's take a look at the romantic tarot let's see what's coming forward for virgo give me a message for virgo please what's going on in the month of april 2023 Okay, look at this, the Ace of Emotion. You have two Ace of Cups. Wow, beginnings. This love is coming through here. There's something that you're just gonna love and adore, okay? Um, yeah, this is definitely new love coming in, something being offered to you. This is big, you know? And uh, with two Ace of Cups, this means like this is a definite yes all roads lead ahead to this love right with the ace of emotions this cherub is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life you may meet someone new who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening it's also possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart okay so beautiful and we have healer of emotion so this is the queen of cups okay this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions you may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forgot to care for yourself Flashes of intuition provide you with the incredible insights. You or another person is kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. Okay? Beautiful. We also have the helper of abundance. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. This person could be you, right? Okay, so beautiful energy here. Okay, Virgo, let's go ahead and get a manifestation monology card for you. See what else is going on. Okay, we have cool your emotions. Take things slow. You know, you may need to take a moment to breathe to focus and we have think it through so make sure you contemplate on certain things think things through when you when you need a moment take time don't be overwhelmed by certain situations right um let's get a monology card we have work through your fears so there's something that you're doubting that you need to really work on and I feel like that's where this breathe comes in here, right? 
and working through those emotions. And it's time to release negativity. So anything that's negative, go ahead and release that energy. Let go of that because that's not doing you any good. That's only making it hard to manifest the good things into your life. Okay? So um, whatever is negative in your life, make sure to kind of release that energy. Sometimes when I have negative thoughts, I kind of reverse that into something positive very quickly so that you know that negative energy doesn't surround me okay so yeah try that okay we have the sun wow so you have you have a lot of happiness coming forward i feel like getting out into nature and having that sun really beam down on you is going to make you feel really vibrant very exhilarated okay and there's also going to be something that is going to become very clear there's going to be something that's illuminated something that is going to just give you this glow up moment right um there's a lot of growth and you also have god energy here so it's beautiful it's beautiful that you have this energy of the divine okay so beautiful energy for you, Virgo. I feel like a lot of good things are happening for you in the month of April. There's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of new growth happening here. New beginnings are unfolding, okay? Um, there's a lot of things that you're going to be following with your intuition. And I feel like that's very important. OK, to follow where the universe is leading you to just trust and use your intuition. You know, your inner voice is not going to guide you in the wrong direction. So listen to that inner voice and take a moment to meditate or find that quiet spot so that you can listen very clearly to what your intuition is telling you. OK, so we have your angel number 911 courage. A doorway has opened for you. While apprehension may be felt, allow courage to flow in as you put your best foot forward. You are being encouraged to let curiosity lead you and know that the divine has your back, right? So your affirmation, Virgo, allow courage to prevail as curiosity leads me through new doors okay so beautiful energy virgo so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe and i hope this reading helps you um if it doesn't resonate make sure to take your, a look at your other placements they may be resonating more with you at this time and um I'll have other readings in a April playlist by the end of the week, okay? And make sure to take a look at my merch shop, okay? And these merchandise turned out really well. Be mindfully beautiful, okay? So, yeah, take a look at that. And um, until your next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. I appreciate you so very much. I love your support, your comments. You're very uplifting. And it really touches my heart. Okay? So, good luck to you. Have a wonderful April and many blessings. Love and light.